Hello, I'm Tom. I want to introduce an upcoming feature of the Crawlerlib engine. It's the expense workflow element. Its sole purpose is a measure of operation costs and workflows. It can be used to respect ABI quotas on Facebook, Google or Twitter or to bill paid services like the Google AdWords API. As we see in this unit test, the expense workflow element books operation costs for the containing workflow. In fact, it is a kind of a group element which also aggregates the costs of the containing workflow elements. So it can be nested to allow fine gained control of costs that should be booked on success or failure of the containing workflows. To this point, this is all done in a declarative manner by using the expense element. But it is also possible to book operation costs programmatically as we see here. Operation costs are distinguished by their type and can be named to separate them. Let's run the test and look at the results to see what I mean. The result contains the aggregated workflow costs separated by type and name. It is easy to access them when you process the result. In this unit test, I just check if they are correctly computed. The Crawlerlib engine provides a general operation cost class called Operation Cost Units, which is in fact a simple long value. But it is also possible to define own operation cost classes for special purposes. In this test I have defined a tuple operation cost class which manages its cost as a tuple of three int values. It has no purpose, it is for demonstration only. The semantics of operation costs are mainly defined by the clone, compare to, add and sub methods. Knowing all that, our test workflow is very readable. This is the outer expense, which has these costs. This is the inner expense for every provided URL. It has these costs. And here we book some costs programmatically. The expense workflow element will be included in the next release of the Crawlerlib engine. There will be another new workflow element called Limit, which allows limiting the execution of workflows. Operation costs and the expense element can be used in conjunction with a new limit element to express limits based on operation costs. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our newsletter and stay tuned.